funny thing is, uh, before the hurricane, I was like, to some of my friends, hey, we're gonna have a hurricane hit us, just so you guys know, like, you know, you're probably gonna hear all kinds of crazy news, and you know, so I just shout out to my family and friends, a few of them, not a bunch of people, but a couple. And then, not that much response, you know, do to do after hurricane oh whoa you know hey did you have a hurricane come through <laughs> i get it you know when you're not when you don't live down here you don't worry about hurricanes down here we have hurricanes every year so how close do they get to us do they smack us do, you know what i mean it, all that makes a huge difference to us but there's you know two four months that you pay attention this year we, we've had to move a bunch from rentals you know getting down here our first house was a scam we paid for it, but it wasn't, you know, they scammed us on it, Craigslist. And uh, so we had to rent. 2020 was the next week. Shut down and kicked everybody. We, you know, it's been insane to keep a place. Now this year, prices went up. Now they're going to start to go down. Uh, anyway, so try it. You know, if, if you own your own house, this is my point. If you own your own house, you can... You can set up shop for a hurricane. You can put your washer and dryer up, you know. We just got our washer and dryer, brand new. It took us six months to get it here. And that's how tough it is. So, was it raised? No. So, we're gonna flood for the last hurricane. You know, so anyways, we were not prepared by any matter. My truck blew up right before the hurricane. Uh, short on cat, everything possible happened. And it was the end of September, and I'm like, this, you know, hurricane season's over. Well, I know it's not, but I mean, you know what I mean? It's almost over. Really, we had zero issues this year. And then Ian, boom. And Ian's bad, but it's, you know, it's still flooding here. I'm just trying to show you guys what it looks like now. Because before, when I called people, no one really was paying too much attention. And then after, everyone was like, wow, you went through a hurricane. Yeah. And, uh... But now it's like if you weren't directly hit and we're in big pine so there was some flooding some people got flooded you know um still flooding, that's flooding there but we get 12 inches of rain all the time down here during summer in one day so we're pretty used to it but then again a hurricane that size if it hits you in any bad manner or you're not set up right or you just get a storm surge luckily we didn't get that bad of storm surge we had a crazy king high few days exactly during the hurricane that means our tides are just a foot higher or whatever it is than normal so it already started off like we were gonna have a serious problem and uh, I've seen the surge before with like cat one the cat two's way off from us and we've I've seen much bigger surge than we got um, and when I say we I mean Amy and I our house across from us same canal our neighbor started to flood they're seven inches lower than us or something like that you know what i mean luckily we rented we saw that it was higher and that was part of the plus of of getting the place and you don't really think about it afterwards too much until later and then you know I'm so glad i was smart about that um but we were so unprepared on so many other things so anyway today i'm trying to do a video to kind of show you guys that now i'm getting all this attention hey are you flooding are you alive and well it's gone the hurricane's gone and some people are seeing all kinds of videos you know and of course the news people it's hard to you don't get any attention unless you know you're hanging to a, a sign and your feet are in the air and there's you're acting like it's flooding 12 million people are dying then you get a million views you get 10 million views if you do it right it's not that big a deal a little bit of flooding over here it floods there every time anyways right six views so I get why I just don't like it I tried to show the uh, hurricane no idea how bad it was gonna be first we thought it was a two direct hit then they started showing that it's not gonna hit at all kind of really and but maybe go up to a four then it was four Cuban and, and turned to us and went to kind of five at times so we were in it. My point is, this is what it looks like now. Most everyone down here in the Keys is 100% fine. Um, our restaurant, Sunset Grill, it's right on the ocean on the Atlantic side, and that's where a lot of the wind was hitting for a few days. 
and they have you know a chunk of damage for their dock is gone really so but a lot of this stuff is expected too as well you know guys we live in the keys and it, it looks kind of beat up I mean, this is what it looks like all the time and the style is like that multiple colors palm trees worn out because that's how we live it's multiple styles palm trees and we're worn out that's the keys this is sunday october 2nd my hands out to film like this all the time and normally no bugs hitting it so far bugs non-stop something like feels like sand this is the keys this is what it looks like all the time exact exactly last night uh, we thought some stuff might be closed and some stuff was closed I think this is uh, Louis Key here owned by the same person I believe pot pot to open see everything's fine And I'm sure some people had some flooding or you know we had like 400 damage roughly the screen's blown out one of the shutters is blown over off it kind of more rotted uh, from the heat down here and humidity which just destroys wood um, and then what else oh the AC ducting which is underneath the first floor so the first floor underneath is exposed of course nobody really lives on the first floor down here because of flooding and uh, anyways the newer ducting was blown off the AC is brand new um, so those are kind of the things that we had that that's obvious you know okay this is the bridge uh, from Ramrod to Summerlin side got more wind it all came in more this way our last house was on the Atlantic side it would have got a lot more beating but it was also concrete it was a pretty well-made house our house uh, now it, you can feel it move <laughs> Uh, you can also feel it move when the AC turns on, so, um, but during the hurricane, you can definitely feel it move around a lot. People's backyards over there, nice. The boat's still up on Marathon, which I've shown. Uh, I don't know if I've shown you guys that or not. Anyways, here's Summerlin. We lived here for a year. We really like Summerlin.
See, everything's normal. Business is normal. Nothing's, you know, everything's normal. Look at our last house. Did they get flooded? Our last house, I think, was in a lower spot than the rest of the neighborhood. This is, uh, everyone calls it the one percenters. And a lot of people aren't here at all. It's their summer stuff, but they have enough money where they don't rent it out monthly. They pulled out a lot of the landscape. Painted it too, I think. No one's here. This is, I forgot how empty it's here. They pulled off the uh, extra storage on the side. Well, that's kind of a bummer. It's more open, but it's. I like the parking a little better because it doesn't have that center thing that kind of sucked. Yeah, I like that better. But to take off the storage off the left, that kind of sucks. And you see your neighbors easier. It's not space you're going to be using, anyways. And it was good storage. And there was a shower there that I worked on. Ah, wasted time and money. And I never used it. There's no nothing. Um, I don't even see any houses injured at all, you know what I mean? Nothing. I know there's stuff. I mean, even our house. And our house was in a better spot. But, uh, well, you could be in a better spot and still get hit. That's that's kind of the funny thing we learned, you know? you could Your, your neighbor might not have any issues at all, and then your house is gone. I mean, it's just totally like that. Um, Anyways, this is uh, Kajo. See how worn down everything looks? The funny thing is, the last building there was uh, square grouper, and inside it looks like Bellevue. It's beautiful. But a lot of this stuff, it gets beat up all the time. Now, this is a uh, Monroe County. They can afford to paint it every six weeks or, you know, every twice a year. Brand new building as well. Like. 
should probably bring my mic so I can talk out the window. Uh, but it does make what I'm holding larger, and then that collects more wind. Um, anyways, the, uh, what's it called? AOA over, or whatever. The, the RV place that I'm going to show you right now uh, was blown away in uh, the last hurricane. on the sugar loaf now that's all brand new even the the building it looks like it just got hit by a hurricane <laughs> it's just being built uh, we used to live right next to it in a shack um, thanks to our awesome landlord but uh, it was tough man it was a swamp and it and the little shack was hit and moved and never fixed after was it Irma and so I mean more bugs lived on the inside than the outside and that's no joke, man. Biden, you can suck it on that comment. Because I would sleep with the electric fly swatters and then clean out the bathroom before Amy got up. I was so embarrassed and so unproud of our lovely home and the promise and dream I sold her. <laughs> All right, here's Sugarloaf. The news also said, oh, you know the school allowed these dry you know people to park their cars here geez man we every single hurricane we park every single time on all the you know and i showed you guys in my videos we, sh we park on where the bridges are because they're raised to go over uh you can see coming up here there's a bridge and then this is where people park all their cars boats rvs stuff that you don't want to flood it's not everybody but it's people that can't haul their stuff out of here and or live in a lower you know flooding area see it's higher here okay amy and i've seen a lot of raccoons and birds dead on this little strip here which is very un not normal because there's no both sides are ocean and gulf and very shallow no houses really no raccoon houses they're normally not here but it has to be from the hurricane you know what i mean like maybe a couple days they were higher up on the road because they were trying to get away from you know the wind um, although a lot of the birds during the hurricane had no problem flying around um, I'll have to figure this one out because this strip here has a 20 things hit on it for some reason really weird that that's not right there so that boat is in a very shallow area it probably came from somewhere off Sugarloaf who knows though it could also be a boat that was just on hook you know or an anchor and the engine doesn't work and people just live on it or it's abandoned but there's no way that should be way over here so it just blew it doesn't look like you would say it just propped up on some uh, on some uh, mangroves or grass over there. Some boat service will come tow it away. It'll be take 10 seconds, no big deal at all. But that's not supposed to be there. So that's, you know, no big deal again. It would be a little bit of a bummer if it's tipped over. It'd be a bummer if it was actually a good boat, but I don't think it is. It's an older style, like 80s, 90s style, and the back looks faded too from way back here. It doesn't look too beat up either, 
So it could have just been, uh, you know, got blown off. People have to try to tie things down. Ropes can snap, ropes get old. Um, it's hard to tie a boat down for to sit through hurricanes. And a lot of the bigger boats aren't really trailerable, especially on short notice, and it's very expensive. But that's only probably uh, 38, 36, probably 38, probably in the 80s. Cabin cruiser. So it's not a real easy towing boat. You have to have a strong truck for it too. Anyways, that's not something you see all the time here. You do after hurricanes, they always have to go get some boats. It's normal. Again, boats pushed up. I know those were on hook. Those were on hook when we moved here. On hook just means anchor, but it also kind of means you're like hooking up to someone that embedded in the ground real, you know, real anchors uh, that you might pay for monthly. Uh, I think uh, Q, this looks like some wind damage here, a hint or stuff scattered around. So maybe they got some wind here. Anyways, those two boats back there, they never move. I don't think they have any power. Whoever lives in them lives in a, uh, lives with a generator running for free, right? Even if they don't own the boat, you know, maybe they've been there forever. I don't know what this guy's doing. Anyways, um, so I did see those the other day when we came. Okay, I stopped at one of my favorite bridges, Geiger again. I just saw a couple of those boats uh, that were on hook pushed on the, which I saw before last few days ago when we drove to Key West. Anyways, I'm down here in Geiger and I know there's a couple of boats that sit out here uh all year round oh it's really flat right now with a little bit of current that's cool uh anyways it sunk over there it's sitting right right there it sunk half tip down i'm sure it was on hook you know i'm sure it was just anchored sitting there but who knows it could have there's probably 40 houses back in here not many that could have floated over i mean it could have floated from you know even kaijo over i would be, be a real sketch but you never know um Anyways, there are boats that sit out here, so that could be one of them that just sunk, not really taken care of all year round, you know what I mean? Could be a new boat. Sure wish I had our boat working. I could run over to these places, you know what I mean? I could be doing so much more stuff with you guys. Soon, soon, soon.
So this boat was here when we moved here, I know that. It was it sits out here, a couple of boats have. There's that same boat where we just came from, uh, that sunk over there. This is a boat launch. It's a real tricky one if you're good. You got this tight little spot, but you're, if you're good, you're okay. This thing's been on hook forever. So, I mean, this is, this was the worst side too. All the wind was coming this way, at least from what I can gather from the hurricane. Hurricane Ian, this is again Sunday, October 2nd, three or four days after Wednesday, I think was our worst day. You got a boat squished over here. You got a sunken boat. Again, look at that, this thing's old. People were living on these. So they lost their houses, but you know, they were living there free. In my guess, my opinion, if they're sitting in there now going, hey jerkwad, then I apologize. Yeah, so, I mean, I mean, that's not gonna be lived in again. So these are boats that get older, the 80s, 90s, and maybe the engine goes bad, or, I mean, a sea race, it's a pile of junk, boat. They can't handle it down here. Uh, if you take care of it, I have, a, I have someone I know that takes care of their Sea Ray and it's great. They take care of it though. So this will get all cleaned up. It's in the 80s, you get the blue top. There's no way that's original, but if you look at the back bin, the last two numbers will give you the year. Let me put this inside this thing. up against this concrete, you're going to bust, obviously. You still have anybody in there? Do they need help? Probably not, right? in the Key West. side normally I take a right and go on the uh, north side but let's go on the south side boats are out rental jet skis are out Couple of boats on the corner there. I think that's controlled by the military. I can't tell if they're pulled up there or they're on trailer up there or they're blown up there.
Look at all the birds out there. They're all pelicans. pelicans out there. There's some fish over there. I mean, seriously, everything looks great. construction here. It's all turtle grass, so it looks like a little bit of flooding here maybe. Or they just pulled all the turtle grass down from the beach. Yeah, I bet you there's still water here. I got all the pounding, so I'm sure this was mud and turtle grass and water. Again, no big deal really at all. one of those cars. He's over in Kiev. He does, does yards with that too. He has like two mowers on it. damage the road for some reason. That's right where the wind was coming in, so that all makes sense. A little bit of damage, obviously, not massive, but to those people, I'm sure there was, no, there's some nice houses in there and then some decent houses, you know, but the nicer houses are up here on the left, I think. They start about here and go down, and they're, but they're also a little bit off the, the, off the uh, coast too, so well, maybe some flooding down here too, a little bit. So Key West got a little worse than us. Everyone else, everyone's also doing their their yard waste. I mean, you have tons of yard waste. Again, they'll pick up 22 cans every twice a week here. So um, they'll pick up more if you ask them. They'll pick up your fridge, whatever you want. 
Um, that's fun. I talked to that gal last time I was down here making a weird siren video thing. A lot of this is just, you know, palm tree branches. This is no big deal. I mean, duh, just pick it up, throw it away. We, we all did a big pine. You know what I mean? You're going to have palm tree branches all you do without the hurricane. this place on the left it's a laundry mat and like a burrito place all in one or a sandwich place sandwich place in the middle of the island now, Key West. saw a news report that flooding Duval Street. I'm standing in Duval. In the picture, he wasn't standing in Duval, in my opinion. Uh, of course, you know, especially when they don't show any buildings, any good building, you know what I mean? It looked like five blocks, ten blocks, an old city, you know? There's no flooding here.
There's no damage anywhere. There's no awnings, no nothing. Zero flooding, zero damage on Duval. You know, maybe somewhere, but I, I haven't finished it yet, but geez, I don't think so. We're going north, so this is gonna be better and better as we go. Although it starts to go downhill a little bit here. damage anywhere. is in business the only thing that hit Key West is the COVID the COVID the mask the mask and COVID the Dems the Dems slapped slap it slap it slap it the Key West the Dems slap it the Key West Drove to Simonton Beach, my favorite beach, to swim tonight, you know, to get in the water finally. I was a little afraid turtle grass would be blown on this side, and it is caked. What a bummer. Man, I wanted to get in the water. And this is the opposite side of the wind. Hey, bud. Oh. This is why this place is awesome. It's never like this. Damn hurricane. I drove 25 miles just to come here. Yeah. This place never has turtle grass. Look at this. guy working there said most of this came in today it's high tides so that probably brought some in he said earlier it was only here which is never it's never here like this just because of the hurricane oh I wanted to swim so bad There's like 200 boats on hook over there. 200 boats on hook over there. And you can see a couple hundred boats over there on hook. But a lot of these are sunken in. I think I think over there and behind it over there, they're just anchored. So they're I'm sure some, a lot of them got pushed up. You can see a boat over there pushed up against the little island over there. It's a locals island. People that live there in tents and on their boat that doesn't run. Or some of them run, but... Well, that's a lot of turtle grass. <laughs> Man, what a bummer. 
What a bummer. <laughs> Sorry buddy, normally I have birdseed on me. speeding bike. Gotta hear, hear floods all the time, like puddles and stuff. I don't see anything. Depot, it's raised up like 10 feet. They're no fools. 